Coach Hartman. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right, guys. Glad, just glad to be on with you today. Uh, sun's starting to shine. The field's drying up, and uh, I'm ready for some baseball this evening. A yeah, big game tonight against Martinsburg for your team. Coach, uh, early part of the season, you guys have done pretty well, I believe, 4-2 and two so far. Uh, what have you liked from the team? What have been kind of some things that you want to still work on? Um, obviously, you're still trying to figure things out this early in the year. I don't think I've had the same lineup at all in any of the games that we played. Um, been really, really happy with the starting pitching. Um, Connor Chauncey's done great. Done two really good games for us. And, uh, Jason Myers done a really good game for us as well. And uh, Hopefully, you can continue to do that again tonight against Martinsburg. Coach Hartman, Colin here. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Sure. Your team brings a lot back from last year's team uh throughout the off season what were some things that you guys tried to focus on to build upon for this year's program you know going into the off season you know, obviously we didn't finish the way we wanted to last year it was a tough section loss there to Hedgesville finish out the year and we thought we were pretty even with those guys all year long and um anytime you uh don't reach your goals. You, you try to work on things, make yourself better for the upcoming season. Uh, always working on our hitting, work, working on our pitching, our conditioning, things like that. Um, arm strength, um, just doing all kinds of things, just trying to make ourselves better for this upcoming year. Coach, there has been some turnover at the roster, obviously graduating you know, your son and, and a few others from last year's team, Dylan Stevens as well, um, just to name some of the names that come to my na- uh, come to my mind right away. But, uh, you had some guys transfer out as well. So who have been some newcomers to your team that you've really been impressed with so far? I mean, you get, you get transition every single year. You always lose your seniors. Transfer, transfers come and go, both teams. It's We've got two great ones that came in for us. I'm happy with uh, Ken Gill coming in from Washington. He's done a great job with us at shortstop. And Isaac Gilbert's also done a great job uh, coming in from Spring Mills and uh, playing locking down that second base position for us. Um, I'm happy with the ones that we have. Uh, I'm happy with the group that I got. Um, we got a lot of veterans coming back with Myers, obviously, and, and, and Kyle. So there's, their, their leadership is where it needs to be, and hopefully it will continue all year. Coach, today you guys take on Martinsburg, a team that is undefeated so far on the year. You guys get to play host to them. Uh, if you want to reveal who's pitching for you guys tonight, what's the approach that you're hoping to take to be the first ones to knock off the Bulldogs? Yeah, we're throwing Myers tonight. He's ready. Uh, his last item was against uh, Jefferson. Um, he's had about a week off, so he's ready to go. He's he's eager for that opportunity tonight. Um I know Marsburg is a good, a good program, obviously undefeated. They find ways to win. I think the last game they had was, was Washington, I believe. They were down five or six runs there in the, the, the seventh inning and find a way to win. You score that many runs in the bottom in the, of the seventh inning and, and good things happen. Um, also, I think they had a big walk-off win against Frankfurt earlier as well. So they're, they're playing hot. They're coming in hot. And uh, we're looking forward to, the, forward to the challenge tonight. And, Coach, for your team, um, coming in here four and two and obviously you know this epac schedule as we know it's you know tough every night what have you seen so far from the conference Uh, a lot of ballots from looking at the scores everywhere else um uh, obviously martinsburg's probably up the top right now but i I see a lot of balance hedgeville knock off anybody jefferson knock off anybody spring mills is right there as well and and washington too she can't leave them out either so a uh, balance. I think it's going to be a, a grind this year, and uh, I'm looking forward to the challenge every single night that we have and um, get our team right by sectionals and hopefully uh, make some noise when that comes as well. I know it's still the end of March, but with the balance that it seems like we do have in the EPAC this year, and maybe more so than any other years, what do you feel like it's going to take for your team to be the one to make it out? Uh, starting pitching, obviously, and you you got to find the key hits when when you need them. And if you play quality defense behind those, and I think it'll, it will be a good opportunity for us. Coach, when you look at your uh, non-conference schedule, what have been some things you've been trying to, I guess, pick up with those opponents? I see Hurricane on there, um, Light Ridge, you know, some some solid competition, Bridgeport across the state, Wheeling Park. Right. So. Uh, how, how do you think that adds to the level of play that you're challenging yourselves in the state as well? I mean, you're absolutely right. Uh, that schedule's no joke um, coming up. I think at the beginning of the year, I think we have 14 different triple-A schools uh, on that schedule. Um, and probably no joke, probably at least seven or eight of them 
their goal at the end of the year is to be at the state tournament. So we're challenging ourselves with quality opponents. Um, hopefully we're putting ourselves in a position to, to be able to play with them and, and, and make a run ourselves. Coach, I want to focus on some specifics about the uh, team and start with that pitching staff since the last question that you answered in mind was uh, that it will take the pitching to really lead the team to potentially being the ones coming out of the uh, region and being a state tournament team. So what specifically do you feel like your pitching staff uh, does well? What are their strengths? And um, Depth. I think they can throw really good, good pitches. Um, they command a strike zone, get ahead of counts. Uh, Connor's last out, and I think he was in the 70s going into the, uh, the seventh inning there against Spring Mill. So his pitch count is really low. And anytime you get ahead in the count and not walk batters is, is, is a good night. So if we can keep our pitchers' uh, pitch counts down and, and get to long innings, and uh, hopefully we can, we can do that and, and do good things. And, Coach, you mentioned the depth of your pitching staff, and that showed the other night uh, against Berkeley Springs. You know, obviously we know Jason and Connor have – pitched the most out of, out of the guys returning, but Dunbar goes three innings for you. Woolham and Gilbert come in, and right. it's the same results. You know, you know hit Berkeley Springs. So how, how do you see these young guys kind of helping you in those big spots? Obviously, you have to replace, like, Trevor Bohr uh, as your closer and some other situations as well. Yeah, we're still trying to figure some stuff out with that. But, yeah, uh, Cobb is, is only a sophomore. He, he pitched great the other night. And Camden came in behind him, a, a freshman. I'm really excited about that kid's future as well. And, and Isaac came in as well. If we can find uh, some of those guys that are able to, to do some relief pitching for us and eat a couple innings up for us when our starters can't go long like that. And um, still looking for that third and fourth starter. We don't really know who that's going to be yet. But we're trying to figure that out as well right now. But it's, um, our, our depth is, is pretty good where it's at. I'm happy with it. Coach, who this year has really stepped up to be the uh, leaders for your team, and what's kind of their message to the underclassmen? I, I would have to say Connor Chancey right now. He uh, a senior for us. He, he wants the ball in every situation. He, he texts me every single night uh, with things that he would like to do and uh, his approach and things like that, and I'm excited for him. But uh, Jason Myers' leadership, he's been doing that since his, his, his freshman year. He's been a... Uh, a quality person for since his freshman year, and um, he just had his hundred hit the other night. So that's that's pretty good. You think about Myers, a lot of people just think about his about his arm and his throwing, but that, that kid can hit as well. And a hundred hits in your career is pretty good. And Kyle, Kyle, I would put Kyle is honestly one of the best hitters in the state, if not the best. You know, sometimes his emotion gets the best of him, and and for good or bad, but but he wears his emotion on his sleeve, and his his leadership and excitement that he brings to the team is above none other. Coach, I think when you look at your team and, and you see the guys coming back and the offensive numbers so far this season have been pretty impressive. Your team's hitting 340, of Kyle Orr hitting 556, <clears throat> Taron Boyle's hitting 533. So just uh, what, what do you think has been the – and Myers hitting over 400 as well. What do you think has uh, allowed those guys to have success at the plate this season? Well, the, the guys that you named have bat, batted in the top of my lineup for, for three or four years now themselves. So the experience that they bring, like I said, the pitches they've seen, the uh, the games that they played, all, all that experience comes in into play with all that stuff. And, and, and they're ready, man. They're ready. They're ready to, to get in that box and attack the baseball. All righty, Coach Hartman, any uh, final thoughts before we let you go? I don't. I appreciate you guys having me on today, and uh, we'll look forward to having you down here tonight, and I hope it's a good game, and you guys have a great broadcast. Appreciate you all.